Welcome everybody to Factual Opinions, the only place to get the correct opinion on the state of video games. Today, at long last, we take a look at Square Enix's newest RPG, Octopath Traveler. Originally shown during the Nintendo Switch announcement conference, Octopath Traveler has fans captivated right away with its promise of the golden age of RPGs and its fantastic sprite work. Octopath Traveler right away captivates with how it looks. The art style harkens back to the golden age of JRPGs, however, pure sprites in the style of older Final Fantasy titles isn't what makes the game so visually unique. It features a greatest hits feeling of multiple generations of RPGs, the sprite work of Final Fantasy IV, with the early 3D backgrounds of PlayStation 1 greats like Xenogears, and a touch of modern gaming with various post-processing and lighting effects. The combined sprite work, use of 3D backdrops, and modern effects all combine to make a game that looks like something familiar, but has enough style to keep it fresh and separated from the glut of pixel-style games that are everywhere these days. The style goes beyond how it looks. Every single character has a distinct look, the regions are all unique, and bosses fill up the screen and are fun to discover and battle against. All of the music gets the same treatment the visuals do. A rich, sweeping score composed by Yasunori Nishiki fully captures the differences and regional disparity between all of the eight heroes. The sound effects, voiceover, and battle themes are all incredible and varied. From the first fight and into the hundredth, you won't tire of the music whatsoever. The reason why the visuals and sound are so important is because of the game that lies beneath. A substandard effort for either one of those two would do a disservice to the eight characters you play as. Octopath Traveler is a game that features eight different playable characters, each one with their own name, story, profession, dialect, region, and motivation. Ulberic, a disgraced knight living under an alias while he searches for a purpose. Therian, a thief who is on the prowl for the next big score, or Primrose, a dancer looking for revenge. Each one of the characters is fully realized and developed without ever giving in to the typical JRPG archetypes. Nobody is suffering from amnesia or trying to save the world from some unforeseen darkness that threatens to kill everything. The change in style that all eight characters provide dramatically changes up what you come to expect from a JRPG in this style, especially from the time period the visuals are inspired by. You can start the game with any one of the eight characters and then choose to ignore or pursue any of the others as you see fit. Each story is told through chapters and the game features an excellent in-game journal. At any time, you can use the journal to catch up with stories or watch cutscenes at any time, making sure you never get confused or lost along the way, no matter how big and dense your party gets. Keeping the story moving is the combat system. The combat system is very much the core of any JRPG, and it's how you progress and carry out. The combat goes a long way to making the game feel fresh and exciting, or dull and sleep-inducing depending on its implementation. Octopath Traveler, like Bravely Default before it, has a few mechanics to keep it fresh. At first glance, the combat appears to be a throwback in every single way. Run around the field, and soon enough, a screen transition will have your party on one side and the enemy on the other. Like many things in Octopath Traveler, however, it seems old school on the surface, but dig a little deeper and you find out more than the obvious is layered into every facet of its design. The top of the screen will show you the current and next turn's order so you always know who is up and what to expect in terms of planning your attack. Every enemy you face features a set of weaknesses that can be used to break the enemy. If an enemy is broken, they get stunned, lose their turn, and become susceptible to thievery, capture, or huge critical damage that they cannot avoid. The more pips you build, you can spend to take additional actions or to power up a spell or an ability. Buffs and debuffs will last 8 turns instead of 3 for example. Magic damage will scale up big time, or the chance to pickpocket a boss may go from 25% to 100. Knowing how to take advantage of the enemy weaknesses and when to store and use your pips to maximize your damage output makes a huge difference in many fights. 
Even regular battles while you're running from place to place benefit from this system. Tactically breaking and wiping enemies in as little turns as possible awards more XP, money, and job points to help you bolster your squad. All these skills will be needed because the game is largely combat heavy. Dungeons are largely straightforward with very little puzzle solving, if any, and they're mostly just combat trials. And that brings me into some of the problems that Octopath Traveler has. While Octopath Traveler is great, it isn't free of criticism. While large and expansive with its eight playable characters, it can feel formulaic at times. If you decide to play out each character's opening chapters, you will start to feel the machine behind the scenes at work. A character gets introduced, and although they have very different backstories, you best believe that no matter what your problem is, it will be solved by entering a dungeon and facing off against a boss. In fact, most of the general structure is the same throughout the entire game. Each character has four chapters, and each chapter involves heading to a new town, getting some exposition, talking to everybody, then going to a dungeon to face a big boss in battle. On the whole, it isn't a huge problem, but as you start playing every character storyline, you will feel the wheel spinning a bit, even though everybody has a unique and compelling story to tell. As for the other most asked question about the game, yes, if you complete all the chapters for every one of your eight companions, a new chapter will open and it will evolve all of the characters. So don't listen to people on the internet who claim to have played this game and say that the characters never intertwine or never come together in any way. There is something there that will bring all eight together. And outside of the very repetitive structure for each character's storyline and the combat heavy nature of the game's core design, Octopath Traveler is a fantastic experience. Rich story, great characters, top-notch sound and visual design complement the intense and engrossing combat mechanics and ode to the RPGs of yesterday while also moving them forward into the modern landscape in a big way. Octopath Traveler gets a 5 out of 5. If you want to see the written review, head over to ntfgaming.com. Thanks everybody for watching. I am Dave aka Nantox. Have a good one. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.